Um, sir, it's uh, D-Day, not me day. The lead starts right now. On solemn ground, on the 75th anniversary of the Day of Days, D-Day, President Trump continues his personal war and petty attacks on Robert Mueller and House Speaker Nancy Pelosi after Pelosi, back in the U.S. a few days before, reportedly told her party the president should be in prison. Piling on Joe Biden, 2020 candidates now feuding with the Democratic frontrunner over abortion rights and his key role in a Clinton-era crime bill. Will the left leave him in a lurch? And? It's too coincidental with the symptoms that we had for me to even begin to stay quiet about it. Horror in paradise, an American couple now telling CNN they were poisoned on vacation, coming forward after learning three Americans died at that very same resort. What's going on? Welcome to The Lead, I'm Jake Tapper. 75 years ago today, more than 160,000 troops from the United States, the UK, Canada, Australia, and other allied nations riding in on more than 13,000 aircraft and 5,000 ships stormed the beaches and parachuted into Normandy, France in an effort to help liberate Europe from Nazi tyranny. Today is an international day of remembrance for that deadly and vital mission for the brave men who fought and died on those beaches and in those hamlets. More than 9,380 men are buried at Normandy, which today was the site of the ceremony honoring those lost in the fight for freedom. Now, you might think that such a day and such a setting would compel an American president, a president who himself gave a strong address to mark the occasion of the memorial, to resist from engaging in petty politics on this day and on those grounds. But you would be wrong. Here's President Trump just yards away from the graves of American heroes, asked by his favorite channel about special counsel Robert Mueller, who is not incidentally a veteran of the Vietnam War, awarded a Bronze Star for Valor. Do you mind if he testifies still before you said he didn't care if Mueller testifies? Let me, let me tell you, he made such a fool out of himself the last time she, because what people don't report is the letter he had to do to straighten out his testimony because his testimony was wrong. It's not exactly clear what, what Trump was talking about even since Mueller didn't testify, but, but either way, the, the president also had some choice words in the same setting, just yards from the graves of heroes for House Speaker Nancy Pelosi. But Nancy Pelosi, I call her nervous Nancy. Nancy Pelosi doesn't talk about it. Nancy Pelosi's a disaster, okay? She's a disaster. And let her do what she wants. You know what? I think they're in big trouble. Now, incidentally, when CNN caught up with Speaker Pelosi as she walked into Normandy and asked her about President Trump's threat to impose tariffs on Mexico, this was Pelosi's response. I don't talk about the president when I'm the country. That's my principle. <laughs> so I'm, I'm, I'm going to go there. I don't talk about the president when we're out of the country. It's my principle, so I won't go there, Pelosi said. Now, it's really not that difficult to imagine what the response might be by both the president's party and his protectors on the Hill and in the media if a Democrat, a Democratic president, had engaged in political attacks like that one on the D-Day anniversary, on the grounds of the cemetery and memorial in Colville-sur-Mer, France. But beyond that, is the reverence that needs to be shown to the men in that dirt and to their families and to all those who see meaning in their sacrifice, the sacrifice of their lives for a cause greater than themselves. Now, to be fair to President Trump, he did deliver at Normandy, as I mentioned, remarks that some observers have said were among the best of his presidency. You are among the very greatest Americans who will ever live you are the pride of our nation. You are the glory of our republic. And we thank you from the bottom of our hearts. The question, of course, is whether the president undermined any of those sentiments by minutes later seeming to not fully comprehend the sacred ground on which he stood.